Life Cycle Assessment of Polystyrene Packaging Content in this video are as follows. Introduction, the life cycle of polystyrene packaging, impacts, and lastly conclusion. What is polystyrene? Polystyrene is a light, generally white plastic that is intended to secure delicate objects within containers from damage or to prevent objects from loss of heat. Polystyrene is a versatile material that can be used in a wide range of consumer goods. It is commonly used in products that require clarity, such as food packaging and laboratory wear because it is strong, solid plastic. Polystyrene is used to produce appliances, electronics, vehicle parts, toys, gardening pots and equipment, and more when mixed with various colorants, additives, or other polymers. Polystyrene was used in numerous ways. In this video, a life cycle of foamy polystyrene trays used for fresh meat packaging was discussed. Raw Material Extraction Stage 1 The Preparation of the Raw Materials for Polystyrene Tray Production Raw materials that were used as inputs in making polystyrene packaging included polystyrene granulate, cooling water, butane, lubricating oil, electricity, natural gas, and LDPE and HDPE bags. These materials were required in the tray's production process. Stage 2 – Polystyrene Tray Manufacturing There were four processes shown in the tray's production systems. As was mentioned before, each process requires various inputs. Firstly, in the extrusion and aging processes, the materials required are polystyrene granulate, cooling water, butane, lubricating oil, and electricity. Polystyrene scrap could also be used in the extrusion and aging processes through a regeneration process that needed lubricating oil and electricity to process. Next is the thermoforming process, which also requires lubricating oil and electricity to process. Lastly, the finished product was packaged using LDP and HDP bags. Stage 3 – The Distribution of the Polystyrene Trays, the Transportation to Mass Retailers, Delivering Phase in this phase, the packaged trays were delivered to users. The finished product, which is the polystyrene tray, was delivered to supermarkets and stores that require the tray for food packaging. The trays were typically used by supermarkets to pack meat, fruits, and other items before selling them to customers. Stage 4 – Polystyrene Tray End of Life when it comes to an end-of-life phase, it occurs when the consumer unpacks the food and then throws the tray into the household waste container. Trays that have been used are disposed of in landfills as established by municipal waste management systems. Polystyrene is not usually recycled due to its lightweight nature and the high economic cost of transporting and degreasing petroleum-based material. However, there are also still a few recycling industries that recycle polystyrene. Environmental Impacts of Polystyrene Packaging Every stage of the polystyrene packaging life cycle emits various emissions towards the environment, which are directed towards the air, water, and soil. While polystyrene products are estimated to make up less than 1% of the overall weight of landfill materials, the proportion of landfill area they occupy is significantly higher due to their lightweight. Polystyrene is also almost non-biodegradable, requiring hundreds, if not thousands, of years to break down. Thirdly, polystyrene may readily be transported by the wind and litter the streets or pollute aquatic bodies, even though it has already been disposed of in landfills. Fourthly, aquatic animals may be consuming the microscopic polystyrene components as they break down, potentially causing choking or intestinal blockage. Besides that, once polystyrene has broken down in the water, fish may devour it. Higher-ranking aquatic species might consume fish that have consumed polystyrene, thus concentrating the pollutant. Furthermore, the other impact is that it could be a potential health hazard for humans. Styrene, the plastic monomer used in the manufacture of polystyrene, has been recognized as a probable human carcinogen by the U.S. National Institutes of Health NIH, and the International Agency for Research on Cancer IARC. To summarize, we learned about the manufacturing of polystyrene packaging, its life cycle, and the negative influence it has on our environment. Thus, we should attempt to use as little polystyrene as practicable. 
To minimize the use of polystyrene packaging, the food industry should explore utilizing biodegradable packaging such as paper packaging and another environmentally sustainable packaging that is significantly greener than polystyrene. As a consumer, you may help to limit the use of polystyrene packaging by bringing your own food containers when buying your food. You could also shop at a zero-waste store if it is available in your area when you go grocery shopping. It helps to encourage you in using your own containers to pack your items and reduce plastic packaging. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you gained some useful information from this video. If you enjoy watching this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more.